Our beautiful mommy Tade Nikawo is a true example of a woman holding her peace and letting God take on the battle. It is most unfortunate to witness that all these oloris are coming to do her things she never witnessed, things she never bargained for, things she never planned will happen in her life. But look at it happened in her life. It is so uh, it is so fortunate, you understand? But once a respected olori, all these women were respected before in the society. But look at them right now. There is a downward spiral. They are losing relevance. They are losing respect. And daily, they no more honor their husband. Before our own eyes, we see the way they talk to KBAC anyhow. They bring KBAC down. They do KBAC anyhow, which is not good. Which is not good before our own very eyes. Because is it that KBAC is losing relevance in their eyes? He reached for us to ask questions. But look at Naomi. God is taking her to a place where she never imagined, where she never phantom, where she never knew she would be. She's just going. But you know when you, you say, Jesus takes the wheel. Naomi just left the wheel. She said, God, you see this one, take him. Do it. I am tired. Naomi said she's tired of fighting. She's tired of quarreling. And she left it to God. Hmm? KBAC has sacrificed his dignity for these women. KBAC betrayed his marriage vows in the process. The marriage vow he, makes to, he made to Queen Naomi, KBAC betrayed it. And at the same time, you people are here saying, eh, Naomi this. We should just come and call Naomi's name. Naomi have tried for KBAC. If Naomi have not done anything eh, for try, Naomi have tried for KBAC. Let's tell ourselves the gospel truth. Some women will not do half of the thing Naomi do. They would have left KBAC since, but Naomi is still waiting. It is also disappointing to see her, this Oloris, has squandered the legacy that Yoruba people take in high esteem. The legacy that KBAC's father has worked so hard for, to establish, so that KBAC can reap the benefits of the strong foundation. He is now failing to extend the same legacy to his own children. Because this thing KBSC is doing with these women, people are going to laugh at his children. People are already laughing at KBSC if he doesn't make amends. If KBSC does not take correction, people will laugh. Oh. People will laugh. Oh. I'm telling you people. So in the future, what legacy will KBSC leave behind for his children? Giving him his image is, is dancing at logo right now. Yes, KBSC's image is dancing at Ilego right now. Even him himself, he doesn't even know where the image is facing again. At a point, maybe KBSC will still ask himself, I bet where the image, they are not finished on my image. Yes, our beautiful queen deserves the admiration in every way. You people see people admiring Mama, 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 uh, uh, Mama Tadenikao. Admiring her. This woman is a strong woman. This woman is a motivation. This woman is this. But you people never know that. Behind that motivation, she has cried. She has been in pain. She has been in torture. She has been disgraced. But guess what? She still stood. Kabiye see why? Kabiye see why? When people are admiring our beautiful queen, you people don't know what she has been through. Our beautiful queen she has set a powerful example for women across generation. What was intended to bring Queen Naomi down has turned around completely, uplifting her, uplifting her instead. This is truly God doing. They want Naomi to fall. They want Naomi to cry. But God now say, who are you? Who are you people? To determine we will cry. To determine we will fall. Are you the people that brought her? No. God say, you see this Naomi, I want to use her as my bragging right. I want to use Naomi to show off my glory. I want to use Naomi to show that of a truth, I am a God. Of a truth, I don't joke with my own. And look at Naomi today. Look at Naomi today. If Naomi is not useful, let's tell ourselves the truth. By now, they would have dumped her. That is the fact. But 
she keep moving on. Why the Oloris are there deceiving themselves? Deceiving themselves. Do you people think what is happening in that palace is normal? It's not normal. It's not normal. You see that palace, they need prayer, they need deliverance. Because what is happening in that palace is not a normal coincidence. It's not a normal thing that is happening there again. Ah, 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 ah. Hey! See how the mighty want to fall. But because of Naomi, God said this palace will not fall. I will spare you people. Because of Naomi. Because if anything happened now, Naomi's son is involved. Oni is, Oni is doing what he's doing. He does not care now. He does not sin. But you see a woman, a woman that, that have the love for her child, that have the love for family, a woman that know what knows what a name is, what a legacy is, that woman will not fold her hand and watch her son's name go in vain. No. No. My brothers, my sisters. My brothers, my sisters, they are in the palace crying. Who is crying now? Who is crying now? They are in the palace crying. Naomi is on her own enjoying. Every day they are in their palace, in the palace shouting to fear aqua, to fear aqua. Who send on a message? You know, they can't shout to fear aqua. Who send on the message? Oh! Ah, I, 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 ah. My brothers, my sisters, as it is like this, eh? We don't know what these women are using on Kabisi. But we know that with time, everything will be brought to limelight. As our beautiful Queen Naomi is so, she said, you see this Kabisi legacy, that she's not going to allow anybody to diminish it. Naomi says she's ready, even if she's not coming back to Kabisi. But you see that good name, she's ready to let people know that good name. Because people are saying Kabisi is losing relevance. KBSC is losing respect. People are not honoring me again. That is losing honor daily. But Naomi says she will keep praying. That there's nothing prayer cannot do. Yes. People are saying KBSC has sacrificed his dignity for, 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 for Kerewawa. Kerewaye. Naomi said no. That KBSC that she knows doesn't used to be like this. Even though he betrayed their marriage vow in the process. But she is not disappointed because why? He has a strong heart. He has a soft heart. Naomi said Kabiesi cannot say no, that is his problem. But with time, Kabiesi will understand. There are some times you just have to say no. No matter the situation, just say no. Just say no. I like Naomi. No wonder people admire her so much. She's an example of who a woman should be across generations. And that is why she is a motivator to a whole lot of us. We love you, Naomi. Please pray for Naomi. Pray for Oni. It's not easy. See you guys later now. Peace out.